name is Bob Gill. The way I choose to solve problems is not to think of an image, even though the solution will consist of an image, is to try to make a statement that's interesting and that's relevant. And I let the statement design itself. The rich Bob Gill. May 11th, at 3.30, I was 10 years and three months old. Well, I used to be a pianist, and I designed a business card for myself, which wasn't very good. I get about the same time, 12 years old or 11 years old. And of course, I have mixed feelings about wanting to be a designer. I don't know whether I would have been better off if I had no idea what I wanted to do. But people who are obsessed with wanting to be a ballet dancer or a painter or a designer have no choice. I had no choice. Two or three people come to mind. One is the painter Magritte because of his nutty mind. As a matter of fact, if I saw Magritte when I was 12 or 14, I wouldn't have been a designer. I probably would have been a painter because I've never seen the work of any artist or designer that was closer to my sensibility. So that's one influence, no question about it. The other influence was the father of modern graphic design, which was Paul Rand, who I knew very well and had a lot to do with and certainly an influence. And the third, Alan Fletcher, my partner at Fletcher, Forbes & Gill. He was a wonderful teacher and I learned so much from him. Paralysis. I enjoy the process of saying original things that are both interesting and truthful. The definition is very simple. Design is simply an organization. That's really the definition of design. Everything else is rhetoric. I love the movies and the theater. I've written more books than I've read, so it certainly doesn't come from literature, which I consider a terrible failure on my part. I just never acquired the reading habit. It's given me a value system to judge things. It's given an order to the way I look at everything.